Now, there was fury in the tabloids this week, and for once it seemed like maybe they had a point. The Sun's headline was... Pool blacked out for Muslim swim. The Express had... Swimming pool blacked out to appease Muslims. And the Mail had... Swimmers plunged into dark after council covers swimming pool windows. Now, I like to think of myself as fairly inclusive and tolerant, but I, I, I agree that does sound a bit much. Uh, I mean, it's slightly surprising that apparently there aren't any electric lights at the pool. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, even if they are, and, and plunged into darkness is a tiny, forgivable exaggeration. I, it is genuinely bad enough that all that natural light has been blocked out, as we can be sure that it has, because the Mail and the Mirror both said... All 250 windows had been blacked out. Well, in which case I can only agree with John Yew at 63, who, when interviewed in the Mail, said... The whole thing smacks of political correctness gone stark raving mad. <laughs> well put. And uh, who, when interviewed in The Sun, said... The whole thing expects a political correctness gone stark raving mad. And who, when interviewed in The Express, said... The whole thing... Well, let's just say he remained consistent, as did Pauline Poole when she told all the papers, in identical words, how much she had been... Looking forward to watching the lovely trees while swimming. <laughs> well, fair enough. Who doesn't go swimming to look at the lovely trees? <laughs> It is a bit funny that all the reporters got exactly the same quote. It's, it's almost as if they just blindly reprinted the story that appeared in the local paper the day before. But I can't believe that, at least not of the Express, given that they made this story their front-page headline. Muslims force pool cover-up. Those pesky Muslims? That lunatic council? Making old ladies swim in the dark? Taking away Pauline's lovely trees? <laughs> it goes on to explain how the council... Covered ground-level windows with opaque film. Honestly, these councils, they, they just... Sorry. Hang on. Ground floor windows. Opaque film? Is that the same as blacked out? C can you clarify, Daily Express? Regular users of the pool are furious that the tinted windows... Tinted? <laughs> the ground floor windows have been tinted? Isn't that what all swimming pools with ground floor windows do? It doesn't sound quite the same as Muslims forcing grannies to swim in the dark. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm assuming that it was at least those uppity Muslims that made it happen, right? The complaints had come mostly from the Muslim community, but non-Muslim women had also objected. Right. <laughs> so this fiendish and indefensible window tinting was done after complaints from Muslims and non-Muslims. <laughs> or to put it another way, people. <laughs> Like the excellent tabloid watch website, you then find a statement from Warsaw Council, you discover that what actually happened is that 58 of the 250 window panels on the pool's floor to ceiling glass wall have been covered with a translucent film that allows in natural light. And this was done for all members of the community and not for any specific group. Because, as Chris Holliday, uh, head of leisure and culture, rather poignantly pointed out, not everyone is confident in their speedos. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. No one's looking. And indeed, no one has ever been looking. Because a previous modesty barrier made of fabric within the original design had suffered damage and in places had been pulled down. So, this story, which you will remember began as swimming pool blacked out to appease Muslims, actually boils down to council replace fabric screen with transparent film. <laughs> or in other words, nothing happened. <laughs> And then The Express, seeing an opportunity for a headline that would particularly incense its readers, ran it on the front page and deliberately misled their readers into picturing Abu Hamza strolling into Warsaw with five <laughs> gallons of black paint swinging from his hook. <laughs> and true enough, the comments pages are now full of outrage and resentment at this fictional event. From Miss Culture of Belfast, who suggests... Local men should turn up with ladders, stand at the windows and make a point of staring at these women. <laughs> Yeah, they should definitely do that. <laughs> that will make everything better. You're like a Latter-day Solomon. <laughs> and then there's M. Davies of Wales who said... I would suggest the local electorate protest wildly. <laughs> yes, definitely. Sometimes you just have to take a stand. Rage, rage against the tinting of the light. Yeah.